yourself from it. The Golden Eagle embodies strength and power, which is why it used to be depicted on many clans and countries' coat of arms. You can still see it on the Mexican coat of arms and the flag of Kazakhstan. This bird is one of the most effective and widespread raptors. Its habitat covers almost the entire northern hemisphere, including most of North America and Eurasia. The Golden Eagle prefers open spaces, primarily mountains and steppes, since it can't hunt effectively in dense forests because of its huge wings. The Golden Eagle's body can reach up to one meter in length and seven kilograms in weight, with a wingspan of up to 2.5 meters. Like other birds of prey, the Golden Eagle has incredibly sharp vision, one of the best among all living species. The superciliary line, which gives the Golden Eagle its formidable appearance, is there to protect it from bright sunlight, and a well-developed nictitating membrane moisturizes the eyes and clears them of dust. The Golden Eagle, as well as other birds, focuses its vision not only by changing the lens curvature, as mammals do, but also by moving the lens with respect to the retina. Moreover, its retina has two zones with maximum image clarity instead of just one, unlike mammals and most other birds. Thanks to these adaptations, the Golden Eagle can detect objects the size of a hare at a distance of several kilometers. The Golden Eagle can hunt any time during the daylight hours, but it usually does so in the morning or in the evening. Most often, it soars in the ascending air currents for a long time during the hunt. But sometimes, especially in cloudy weather, it prefers looking out for prey from a perch, for example, a hill, a tree, or a high rock. Most of the time, the golden eagle preys on relatively small animals, such as marmots. It also hunts hares. Large species of hares can grow up to 8 kilograms in weight, and they run at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. But even this is not enough to escape from the golden eagle. Its speed during a regular horizontal flight can reach 130 kilometers per hour, which enables the bird to catch up with any land animal. If the golden eagle swoops for prey from a great height, it can accelerate to about 320 kilometers per hour, which makes it possible to almost instantly grab its land prey or even another bird. The only exception is the peregrine falcon, the only creature that surpasses the golden eagle in speed. The golden eagle rarely attacks other birds, but if the opportunity arises, it is capable of killing even large species, such as cranes. Huge wood grouses, despite living in dense forests, lower their guard during the breeding season and become easy prey. However, if the bird manages to notice the danger in time, it may well dodge the flash-like attack. Various types of foxes are common prey for golden eagles. Despite their agility and sharp teeth, foxes have almost no chance of winning a fight with an adult golden eagle. Its talons can reach 8 centimeters in length, and its grip is several times stronger than the grip of an adult human hand. When the eagle attacks, the talons penetrate deep into the prey's body and kill it by damaging the blood vessels and internal organs. Of course, when hunting very large animals, such as a deer or other ungulates, the talons have to strike directly into the vital spots, such as the neck or the spine. If the eagle misses the prey's vital organs, it can take much longer to kill it. This may result in the hunt becoming unsuccessful altogether, or may even turn out dangerous for the golden eagle itself. Golden eagles often hunt large animals in the mountains, because such surroundings allow them to kill the prey not only by striking them with their talons, but also by throwing the prey off a high cliff. Golden eagles can even attack people sometimes. Despite these attacks being very rare, there still have been fatal cases. Apparently, these raptors can confuse a short person for their prey. Thus, if you're walking outside with children and see eagles nearby, you should be very careful. In many ecosystems, the golden eagle is at the top of the food chain and has no rivals on land or in the air. Even relatively large land predators, for example coyotes, usually hesitate to take prey from the golden eagle because it poses a mortal danger to them even on the ground. Most other birds of prey rarely come into open confrontation with the golden eagle. The white-tailed eagle is no exception. It is almost as big as the golden eagle, but it feeds mainly on fish and other relatively small animals. However, some particularly large birds, such as the California condor, 
are capable of chasing away the golden eagle from its prey. Large flocks of corvids can sometimes attack golden eagles. However, the most frequent opponents and competitors of the golden eagles are other golden eagles. Golden eagles used to be caught and tamed often because of their good learning capabilities. They could become faithful assistants in hunting. Thanks to their incredibly sharp vision, golden eagles could track down game, catch it, and bring it to the owner. Most often, golden eagles assist in hunting hares and foxes. They are also sometimes taught to hunt large ungulates and even small wolves. Golden eagles reach sexual maturity at about five years of age and are strictly monogamous birds, meaning that they choose a partner for life. This bird of prey has a lifespan of about 30 years in the wild and almost half a century in captivity. There are usually two eggs in a clutch, but only the strongest and most aggressive eaglet survives. In fact, siblicide is a common occurrence among the golden eagles. Older siblings always try to kill the younger ones. The golden eagle can already fly at the age of three months, but it only becomes completely independent at the age of six months. Since the 17th century, golden eagles have been actively exterminated in many countries, as they often attack livestock, including goats, sheep, and even calves. Nowadays, the golden eagle is protected in most countries, and despite the fact that it is rare in many areas, its total number remains quite high and stable due to its huge habitat. Well, that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.